welcome to analytics with nax in this video we are going to see how to load multiple tables in a database into your target database using a single azure data factory pipeline or activity that is what we are going to see as part of this video let's begin what we are going to do today we have seen in our previous videos loading a single table we need to have a activity if you are trying to load three tables you will create a three copy data activity and this is inefficient so we is told like we need to use the parameters you design a single pipeline or activity where you can choose a source schema and table as a parameter you can pass and then you can dynamically load it this is somewhat uh, good practice but again you need to pass manually right for loading a uh, each table how to make it programmatically that makes our life easier even you have 100 tables you can make it uh, more dynamic you no need to uh, pass each table that is what our end objective is what i'm trying to say here is like we need to design a pipeline that will get the list of tables right let's say three tables in this case and for all the three tables you run that copy activity this is what we are going to do so if you see here this particular activity gets me what are the tables i'm going to um, read from my source and these three tables are passed as a parameters for each uh, loop then this copy activity will copy from the source that customer and loads into the target let's try to uh, check it out how to implement this as part of this video in this channel we have a power bi ms bi and uh, fundamentals of sql as well as azure please share this channel with your friends and colleagues if you are new to this channel hit the thumbs up button and bell icon for notification let's begin we are in um, data factory now let first things first let me show you the connections this is my staging server which resides in azure this is my target server which resides in azure as well let me show uh, the source tables what we have we have uh, in our source we have four tables customer dim um, currency geography and product let me show you some records here we have three records and in our target we don't have any uh, tables right now so we have shown the connections and we have seen the databases let's go to data sets this is the source uh, data set and which is parameterized if you don't know how to create a parameters you watch my previous videos and we have a target db where you can have i mean target db data set that is which has again a parameters we have two data sets that we are going to use as part of this video let's try to create a new pipeline let me name it let me test um look <coughs> that's somewhat fine let me take lookup activity so what this lookup activity will give it will give us the result set right let me choose the data set here and then i prepared uh, uh, some notes here what needs to be done at each stage so this is for the lookup activity i will paste it in uh, uh, what you call um, <coughs> so at each step i have prepared uh, some script that you can use it i will paste it in the description so first things first so in this i am going to use the query and ensure you uncheck this box because we are going to get the multiple rows i am not going to get only single row i am going to get the multiple rows so ensure you uncheck this and using the query i'm pasting this query it is very simple select name from sys dot objects where type equal to u what it will return let me run and show you what it is going to return this is returning my table names here okay that is what i am getting from that output next thing is that's all so once you are done with this lookup you are done with the lookup configuration 
let's try to use the for each for each loop connect then in for each loop we need to set this items this property should be parameterized uh, let's try to get this value in for each setting items use this script that is activity lookup dot output dot value you can take this one paste it here that's it this is also done from for each perspective then you can click on edit then again inside this you have a copy data activity so inside that for each you are trying to copy then what you need to do you need to pass the parameters whatever uh, the records you are going to get right from the source we are going to get in this sequence customer product dim currency and dim geography that one you need to pass it as the table in the source connection right so in this place right instead of hard coded value i'm going to get that for each loop each iteration value what is that value it is nothing but item dot name this name right this name is nothing but whatever you configured in the previous step that is uh, whatever we queried right in the select name from sys dot objects this is the name we need to pass it here <coughs> and that's it from source perspective next going to sync use this target db then here i i can choose auto create table if does not exist then use this one again in the table name target i'm going to paste the same thing item dot name you can see target table this is this one and this is the optional one uh, which is use it to drop the target table if it exists and um, that is very good when you want to load multiple times right so i am using that script as well so this one you can keep it here so what it does let me show you it is the dynamic query like if object id of that particular table name exist right then drop the table that is the script it is going to give so what happens is very first time you load it if the table won't be there so it will auto create it and load the data next time what happens if it exists it will drop and recreate the table again okay that is the ultimate thing this pre copy script will do now we are done with our all our uh, configuration let's go back one step here then click on debug there you go now you can see the lookup activity this query is fired and you got four items that is customer product dim currency dim geography and that is passed as a parameter to the for each now you can see the copy data activity the pre copy script is being executed that is dim geography all the four tables are created you can see here uh in the target i am on the target and you can see all these four tables are created now so you can check it out the data is loaded in your target so let me uh, rerun this pipeline so that you will understand what this uh, pre copy data scripts are doing right so one step back let me rerun this pipeline refresh it so ideally the customer data if you are not dropping and recreating what will happen is it will have the uh, six records because first time we have loaded three records are there next time we are loading another six records will be there I am mean, I mean another three records. So total, it will be six records. Since we have pre-copy script, right, which is 
dropping the target table and recreating it will not have the six records it will have only the three records right now so that is the purpose of uh, pre copy script this is used for uh, uh, loading the staging tables in case of data warehouse my ultimate aim is to uh, build a data warehouse using a data factory so that's why i'm having all this uh, snippets uh, training in as part of this video let's check in the target now once again so i get only the three records even though the second iteration also successful i hope um, you like this video you can load any number of tables ensure that this lookup activity should return you those number of tables then you can uh, load um, any number of tables that is the ultimate uh, objective of this video i hope you like this video if you like it hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset.